Good morning, Tri-State. Time to take a look at some of the stories that are trending on our website. Are you planning to go to a restaurant this weekend or maybe even taking a game? Well, you may want to see how many food safety violations that they have first. Not on your side is the statewide numbers of some Tri-State places and where they rank in the number of violations when it comes to food. Now, we're breaking down the numbers, which show three of the top violators of sports venues in Cincinnati in the state of Ohio. Okay. So if an inspector were here, you would pick up the mop, you would hang it yes. up, fix yes. the violation. Fix the violation, we'd be done. Okay. Right. Gotcha. And that's a pest violation. Where Craig McKee working in on the television side. We're now joined by Dan Monk, the reporter who worked on this on WCPO.com with your colleague Lucy May, may we note. So I guess the question is, which venues have the highest number of violations when it comes to food issues? It's uh, Paul Brown Stadium locally and Ohio State's uh, stadium uh, statewide. Now, is this a food, like the mop to me seems somewhat trivial compared to like yeah. my food has a rat in it or something. You see what I'm saying? Well, that's an interesting point you bring up. <clears throat> there are no rat violations, okay. no rodent, no pest violations at any Ohio stadium. We looked at 27 venues and we ranked them, you know, from top to bottom in terms of the number of violations. So the home of the Buckeyes uh, came out on top with, I think, 161 violations. And three of the top five were Cincinnati venues, Paul Brown Stadium, uh, Fifth Third uh, Arena at uh, UC, and Great American Ballpark. But fewer than 25% of the total violations were critical violations, which are the kind of uh, things that can make you sick. Like, so that, that's saying that numbers don't tell the whole story? Yeah, that's exactly right. If, what I would do is uh, look at these violations and judge for yourself whether you think it's uh, something <laughs> you want to see. Like at uh, Nationwide Arena, for example, there is a violation involving a, uh, some earbuds that were set on top of a uh, spatula used for icing. Gotcha. You don't want to see that. No, I totally agree. Let's take yeah. a look at you. We talk about statewide. Let's take a look at the statewide map. And it's easy to see that northern or I guess northeast Ohio has few or far more violations than we do here in the tri-state. Yeah, the red uh, dots represent high concentrations of violations in certain zip codes. So you can see the major uh, clusters are in cities. But this is the first time that we've been able to look on a statewide basis. So we have violations all the way from northern Kentucky to Cleveland and all parts in between. It's like 182,000 violations and 58 health jurisdictions statewide. And so we, we started noticing some trends in terms of the kinds of violations that mm -hmm. are cited. We've got a list of which uh, jurisdictions write the most violations per facility. Claremont County ranks pretty high on that list and so does the city of Middletown, Franklin County even higher. So you can go on our website and, and really start to explore uh, how restaurant violations vary from one part of the state to another. It is a wealth of information. The article is up and going right now on our website at WCPO.com. Dan, thanks. Thank you.